So today we're going to be doing something a little different. I wasn't actually going to make this video originally, I was going to do something else, but I've been feeling a bit under the weather recently, so today I thought it would be fun to just recolor grade some Marvel films. Now you may be wondering, why are we recolor grading Marvel films? They look fine, and no, I mean, they, they, they look okay, but they're not great. I mean, from a visual standpoint, a lot of their daylight scenes just look really flat and grey. I mean, like, I'm not the first person to bring this up. I mean, obviously, Patrick H. Willems' video essay on why Marvel's colour grading looks so ugly is, like, really big and famous, and, like, yeah, the, the, like, he's not wrong at all. Uh, it, they are. It is just really flat and boring. Um, and just, you know, as a filmmaker, as a creative... It's kind of great to know all the facets of, like, film production, so just as a means for me to improve my colour grading, I just thought it would be a fun little challenge. Now, this isn't going to be perfect because a lot of the files I'm dealing with are going to be compressed files. They're also not the raw image files, so it's not going to be 100% perfect. Uh, there can be a lot of uh, crushed shadows and a lot of compression, but I'm doing the best with what I've got. Also, since I don't have any of the raw files, I'm not going to be doing anything crazy like putting in LUTs or anything because, I mean, one, LUTs are kind of cheating in a way and, like, yes, I do use LUTs, but that's just as a means to achieve a look. Like, I'm not the most, like, adept at colour grading. I just do basic colour grading, like adding contrast, saturation, and shadows. But also, the Marvel films themselves don't need a lot of colour grading themselves because, in a lot of ways, the colours are there. It's just the contrast and shadow and highlight ratio that just... It's... They don't seem to just add contrast, it's like a lot of the contrast is taken out of the shots and all they need, I feel, is just a bit more contrast and shadows and boom, the image looks fantastic. And you're gonna see that with a lot of the clips that I recolor grade today, like, all they need is just a bit of contrast and saturation and they infinitely look a thousand times better. Particularly with those daytime shots because those daytime shots just... Oh man, they hurt my eyes a bit, I won't lie. But I'm just gonna grab some shots from Marvel films and start recolor grading them, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first shot we're going to do is the airport shot from Captain America Civil War. The original just looks... It's, it's, just, it's missing contrast. Like, you scroll through the footage and, like, things should be popping. The shot itself is not the most, like, visually interesting since it is just in an airport, but, I mean, I'll see what I can do with it. So what I've mainly done is I've just added some contrast, uh, brought down the shadows a little bit, added slight, a slightly warmer colour temperature since this is meant to be a sunny day. Well, apparently, at least in the sky, it's supposed to be sunny, a little bit cloudy, but added a bit of yellow just to add some added colour to it, if that makes sense. I desaturated it a tiny bit. Um, but that's just because at certain points, um, you have things like Black Widow's face being a bit too orange. Um, so other than that, I think it's pretty good. It's at least more striking than the original, I feel. I also added a little bit of a vignette, but that's just because I personally like adding vignettes into it. Like, there's something about vignettes that look really filmic to me. Like, just the way it softens out the edge of a frame, like, I really like vignettes. But that's just a personal choice. I know not everybody is a massive fan of vignettes but to me i i actually do quite like vignettes the next shot we're gonna do is this one from thor ragnarok and now thor ragnarok the the color grading in the thor films are actually quite interesting because kenneth branagh's thor looks visually gorgeous like the way asgard is color graded is gorgeous and just like the the the, the rich colors the gold the warm tones kenneth branagh's thor looks great and alan taylor in thor the dark world continue that trend and Asgard looks great. And then you get to Thor Ragnarok, and aside from it being my least favourite Thor film, visually as well, the movie is just so grey, and it's 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 missing the contrast, which again, really hones in to the point that I just don't understand where people are like, Marvel films are so colourful, I'm like, but they're really not. None of the colours they have on screen pop because it's all just so bland. And so literally all I've done in this shot is I've just added in some contrast some shadows uh i lowered down the highlights so the highlights didn't get blown out and i just added in a touch of like yellow into the highlights just to give it that warm glow and instantly i think it looks so much better like to me that shot looks like it's on the same level as the original thor film but also 
it looks like Lord of the Rings, and like that's like a good thing in my opinion because I mean like Lord of the Rings color grading is awesome, but it just enhances the entire thing. I feel like it enhances the set design, the costuming, everything seems to fit much more just by literally adding in some contrast and making those colors pop because that right there just looks visually interesting to me. And you look at the original. And it's just so desaturated and drab and grey. And like the thing that I'm finding is that all you have to do to fix Marvel's colour grading is just add in some more contrast and shadows. And like other than that, it, it's pretty good. Now the next shot I'm going to improve is this shot from Infinity War. And I, I won't lie, what I've done is better, but I don't like it 100%. And I think that it's mainly due to the way the scene itself is shot. Like Mark Ruffalo, I think is on a green screen. Like he isn't in the same shot as Robert Downey Jr. Jr. and Benedict Wong. Like, he really stands out, and I think that it's because of the compositing. I mean, yes, the scene itself is visually flat. Like, I don't understand why it's so flat looking. Like, to me, that just looks ugly. Um, just again, adding in contrast, uh, p uh, bringing down the shadows, it makes the image pop. And th that's what I like. Just right there, everything looks visually interesting by just adding in the contrast and saturation. And then the last clip I'm going to do for today is this clip from Shang-Chi. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find a high resolution clip, but the, the concept still applies where all you have to do is just add in some more contrast and, and shadows and the image looks infinitely better. Like, I don't know why Marvel is like... In a lot of ways, it seems like Marvel gets the footage the raw footage from the Ari Alexa. I think they all shoot on Ari Alexas, but like they they get the raw footage and then they kind of just keep it there and then they keep like the grey raw like filter. Like they don't add in the saturation and stuff. Because like you just have to add in extra contrast and shadows and the image just looks so much better. The images are a lot more striking and visually impressive. Like to me I go that is like, uh, that's the shot from a film right there. I'm looking at the images, they're impressive, and that's mainly just because, it, it, in a way, it looks like comic book art. Like, the ink and the shadows, like, th like you have to add in shadows to create depth and dimension and, and make it interesting. Like, love or hate Zack Snyder, you can't deny his DC films are visually interesting. Um, I do think Zack Snyder's Justice League is a bit too desaturated for my taste, but still... It is visually distinct. I mean, I think the main lesson we can take away from today is that most of the Marvel films are really, like, grey, and all they need is just extra contrast and shadows to make the images pop. Because the cinematographers are good, and that's the thing. The colour grading does a disservice to the work of the cinematographers because they capture really great imagery and they do the camera movements really well and the action is well shot. It's just the colour grading that holds it all back from being great. But yeah. Um, this was a fun little experiment for me. Um, I don't know if I'll do any more of these videos in the future, but just, this was a fun little filmmaking experiment. Um, I'm happy with the work I've done. Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, follow me on social media, all that good stuff. Links are in the description. And yeah, until we meet again, see you guys next time.